Hi, here is Kathy from Kathy Director and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can make an air bending effect from the movie Avatar The Last Air Bender. Um, it's very easy but you need the plugin particular. Uh, you get it by Red Giant Software. The link is in the description. Let's get started. You first you need a clip uh, with this hand moving thing like this. So you're bounding the air and then you can shoot it out. So drag your clip in a new composition and you get this window here. I made some color correction on my video clip here because the original sucks. First go to layer, new, solid. It doesn't matter what color but make comp size. Okay. And then go to your effect panel and type in particular. Trap code particular. And drag it on your solid. Now you get the um, default Go to the beginning where you want to start the banning the air. Use the page up and page down keys to move. Go to emitter and change your particles per second to 60. Change your velocity to 13. And then you go to position and X and Y. Click here and that's the position where you will have your air thing so go to the point here and click on the stopwatch and go page down I think yeah down to move forward and keyframe all your position of your hand here so like that drag it to there and after effects will automatically make keyframes so when you are finished uh, with your keyframing, it should look like this maybe. It's not the best, but I think it looks okay. So go to the point where it's appear, like here, and set your set the particle seconds, set a keyframe, and go a bit page up and set it to zero so it will start a bit so it will fill in so next go to effects blur and chopper and CC vector blur set your type to perpendicular your amount to 3 set the map softness to 15 then go to effect Chur blur and sharpen and fast blur I have it mine in German so I go to blur and sharpen and fast blur there you can play around with what you would like to have maybe this I have amount 17 and look this it looks good huh okay so if you want uh, to leave it like it is, like this, uh, or you change the opacity on your particle, uh, particular particle, and then go to opacity, you can change it. So and here is my result. When you bit of play around with your settings here, you can make it perfect better than mine I think I hope so so by the way I never saw this comic series again before <laughs> that's crazy and backyards so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial um, please subscribe for more After Effects tutorials and yeah see you next time bye